custom inputs. Custom inputs is five new virtual inputs into the ECU. Allows the tuner to set up um, special features using sliders, switches, uh, numerical values, and momentary buttons. In this particular example, custom inputs, we've set up a slider for traction control, one for boost control, uh, a throttle response map, also fail safe protection and a valet mode. If we look at traction control, the factory traction control is normally quite aggressive, any hint of wheel slip and it will pull back the throttle. If we disable the factory traction control, then we can now use race ROM to adjust the traction control on the vehicle for the current conditions. Maybe we're racing, maybe we're on a track day. We can minimise it so it's not going to do anything, we can do a burnout if we want, or we can turn it right up and get very aggressive traction control. And this can be used, we can set up a throttle multiplier or ignition control, um, or a factor of both really. It's down to the tuner how he chooses to calibrate it. Next one is boost control. On this turbocharged Honda Civic that we have here, actuator pressure is about 0.4 bar, and the tuner's configured it so that we can turn the boost pressure up from 0.4 up to 1.2 bar. So using an external wastegate solenoid that's controlled using race ROM closed loop boost control, the user can simply turn the boost pressure up and down on his mobile device. Throttle response gives us four different throttle settings that we've pre-configured. We've got a, an economy mode, we've got a regular mode, sport mode and a race mode. This is the relationship between the accelerator pedal and the throttle pedal. Go back. Fail safe protection, we've set up so if the car runs lean um, on full boost pressure that it could reduce the throttle opening. So if the car's running lean at high speed, we're not going to damage the engine. You can also set it up for oil temperature, fuel pressure. Um, you can set it up for coolant temperature. All of these features can be configured using custom maps and then just turned on and off using custom inputs in ECU Connect. And the final one is a valet mode. Valet mode is not a standard feature for the Honda Civic, but we can create a valet mode. So if you're leaving the car with somebody, maybe airport parking or a restaurant, you can just enable the valet mode feature to stop anybody abusing the car while it's out of your care. These are just some of the features that are possible using custom inputs, custom maps, and ECU Connect. In this custom inputs example, we've set up some, um, some different things that we can do. You can see the top one there has been configured to control the intake camshaft. So using the slider, we can advance and retard the cam time in line. So you can lock the car on the dyno, full load, and adjust the camshaft to see when we're gonna get maximum power output. Next one is a speed density, a uh, VE calibration. So this could be used to increase, decrease the volumetric efficiency using the race ROM speed density um, function. Next one, ignition timing. We can advance and retard the ignition timing using custom inputs. Next one's quite a trick. Um, we could turn on and off the VTEC when we want. Literally, we could be driving down the road, bang on the VTEC, sound changes, and turn it on and off again when we want. Bit of a gimmick, but we can do it. We can do it with ECU Connect. And the final one, forced induction car, maybe you fit water injection. Car's running hot, you want that extra bit of safety, then you can turn on and off the water injection or the nitrous using ECU Connect. Here we have another example, custom inputs, what can be achieved, what your tuner can do um, using custom maps and ECU Connect. So you can see on the top one here, we've got event selector. When we choose this, we can go in, we've set up four different conditions, one for road, one for rally, one for race, and one for drag. The tuner has the ability to set up calibrations for the different, different features. Next one along, overboost mode we can simply enable or disable an overboost on a turbocharged model. Pops and bangs, we can turn up and down the pops and bangs using the slider, ignition retard and fuel in adjustments. Next one is a momentary switch. We push and hold, it says flames. We could set up rev limit, um, fuel enrichment, ignition retard, on and off using, using the flames button. And the final one is a valet mode, we can turn off on and off ballet mode and pre-configured by the tuner to limit the vehicle speed and the power output when it's not in our care.
These are all features that we can do using Eastern Connect, custom inputs and custom apps.